Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Nuclear Throne. Now, you might notice a bit of an echo uh, in this video, and I really do apologize for that, because I know I personally cannot stand when people have echo in their videos, but unfortunately there's really nothing I can do. Uh, I actually just moved out of my apartment. It was an awful, awful place. Uh, but the reason I moved out is just because I might be moving to like into the city. Like I live outside the city of Chicago right now. Um, let's just go ahead and play. Uh, the reason I'm recording Nuclear Throne is I just kind of wanted to play something where I can just kind of... Just go, ooh, I feel like this looks a little different, but maybe not. I just kind of wanted to play something that, you know, I could just kind of mindlessly enjoy and be able to update you guys on my life and everything going on. Uh, because you guys have a right to know, and it always seemed like, uh, you know, some of my more popular video stuff was, you know, just videos where I kind of hung out and talked. Like, you know, Animal Crossing was like a daily blog thing or vlog thing. And I feel like that really helped me out because I got to like talk about how I was feeling, what was going on with me. I got to kind of digest, you know, my life and also kind of be able to share with you guys so you know where I was at. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. Um, so I figured, you know, Nuclear Throne would be a good video for that or a good game for that. And I haven't recorded anything on it in a while and I've actually tried to record a couple videos on it. Uh, but they always end up in a way I hate that I just can't stand. And part of the reason for that was in my other apartment where I had my computer, it was so hot. And that apartment in general was really hot. Like... There was no air conditioning. I'll go with laser brain. We'll try to go for some uh, energy weapons. Um, it was so hot. It made it so difficult to record anything. Uh, and that's why there was like a pretty steep drop off in video stuff. Um, it, le it was just more difficult for me to record stuff. And that was really frustrating. Oh, cool. We get more bullets now when we walk over ammo, it seems. Yeah, that's definitely more. It's like double. I'm not complaining. It's probably because there are so many more weapons in the game now that use a, a lot of bullets, like the, the, the better weapons, like in the bullet family. Man, we are getting really lucky though with uh, with those things. I can't think of what they're called right now, but uh, the, the mutagen tanks. Like, you know, because when it's those, like with the green ones, it, they give you way more, which is awesome. Um, I just want, ah, damn. I just wanted to use the slugger, or the shotgun for over there, but I want to keep the slugger. Anyway, um, so right, right now I'm using the two weapons I really don't like using at this point in the game because you have all these enemies that don't take a lot of ammo, but they or they take more ammo than they need damage. You know, you get these worms that you really only need one shot for, and unfortunately when you use the, just the slugger, I'll use that. When you're just using the slugger and the, whatchamacallit, uh, like a crossbow, it makes it kind of a pain to try to kill a whole bunch of maggots, unless you can get them all in a row, which, you know is sometimes more of a struggle than it's worth. Um, but the grenade launcher is actually okay. Oh, and I would love to take the hammer, but it's just not really worth it to me. Um, but I might take it just to kind of clear out some of these enemies. Uh, but let's continue to explore before we get out of here. And then I, I do want to go back and grab the crossbow because I really do like having the crossbow. Anyway, so what's going on with me is, uh, so I was living on my own for the last two years while I was going through college and it was really great and really fun and I love living on my own. But it's really, really expensive. And, you know, originally it wasn't as big of a deal because I was making enough money on YouTube, I was doing enough freelance work, and I still had, like, a, a normal job at, like, GameStop or Target. Those are the two places I worked last. I'll go with stress. Um, which is ironic because I'm talking about stressful stuff. Um, but, you know, I, I've had, you know, I had a lot of jobs and I, I had plenty of money, but it was still really stressful. You know, I, you know, I wasn't well off by any means. It was just, you know, I was able to be alone and I liked that. You know, it was, it's really nice to be able to live on your own. It really, really is. Especially when you have a weird job like YouTube where you kind of need people to be quiet around you. And, you know, you just need to be able to, you know, you just need to be able to have your space and do what you need to do. Um, it's not, it's really, I mean, I'm sure people who live at home and try to do YouTube can relate to this, but it's really difficult to create consistent content, like, when, you know, when you're in a house full of people, or even with one person that tells you to shut up because you're trying to record, you know, Binding of Isaac at 3 in the morning. Um, but anyway, so there, there was some stuff that happened, like, at home, like, where I grew up. Like, my mom, you know, got, I don't, I don't want to get too personal about it, but my mom is, you know, her and her significant other broke up. Uh, not my dad, but someone... Never mind. I don't want to get too much into that much of a personal thing. Um, but it's not that it's a big deal, just that I don't necessarily think you guys need to know that stuff. But I'm pretty, uh, I don't really, I'm pretty transparent when it comes to my personal life. And sometimes I feel like I need to be a little more careful of that. 
Um, but anyway, uh, so I, I, it allowed me to be able to move back home, and it allowed me to have more freedom. Like, basically, my mom let me take the dining room and turn it into an office. So I have like my my iMac, my PC, all of my lights and my green screen, all this stuff all set up, which is really cool. But this room's a little echoey, which is a bummer. Um, but hey, not everything's perfect. Um, I will take that for sure. And uh, so I'm gonna be here for a little while, and the main reason I'm here is that I just don't know what to do next. You know, I just graduated college, which is awesome. You know, graduating college is a big deal, uh, but it's really hard to find a real job. Um, and especially when it's a really competitive field with not that much work, like television or you know, film or video in general is what I went to school for, in case anyone was curious. Um, it's really hard to find work in that, you know, and uh, it, and I knew that, you know, it's, I, I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna go to school, and become a TV director, I'm gonna go make X Files two and make a million dollars. I knew that wasn't gonna be what it was, and that's fine, uh, because I wanted to do something I was passionate about, and I knew it's it's a risky move. But uh, I didn't expect it to be as hard as it's been, and. Since I got wrongfully fired from GameStop, it's been really difficult to like you know survive on my own with just YouTube money, you know, and views have gone down, and that's partially my fault because I haven't been as active as I should be. You know, people are starting to post like five or you know four or five videos a day, which is fine. You know, that's it works. It works really well for people, and I was doing that for a little while, uh, but I just didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to record it, and I was trying to do freelance work more than I was doing YouTube work, like making trailers for indie devs, which is fine, but. I kept working for free or working for like a hundred bucks here and there, which is fine. You know, like indie devs aren't, you know, the most well off, especially when I'm helping them make release trailers, you know what I mean? For their first game. Um, and I don't mind working for free because that lets me build up my portfolio and that kind of gives me goodwill with other de developers. Anyway, so I've been struggling and I, you know, have had a lot of little jobs here and there and I might be working at the Apple store soon and I might actually be working at UPS soon as I package handler uh, which is fine because like it's you know four hours a day and you know you're, you're basically getting paid to work out and the payment is pretty good for you know a simple job it's well over minimum wage minimum wage in uh, Northwest Indiana which is where I live uh, is like uh, 725 which is awful especially if you're someone from Europe you know how terrible that is um, but yeah minimum wage here is awful and this job offers like two and a half times minimum wage and it's just like a simple job. So once I like kind of get one of those jobs or I get a real job, which would be amazing and there is actually a potential job I have lined up, uh, then I'll be doing that and I'll be moving out again. But for now I'm stuck here. Hello. And uh, I'm living with a bunch of people now and it's awful. But, huh? Yeah, family. Family's all right, and a... But, what'd you say? But yeah, it's not the worst. I get to live here for free, so. And someone made breakfast this morning, which I can't complain about. Oh God. I would like to be able to go in there. There we go. Ah, but I don't want the double shot. Oh, this is actually bad. I have tons of weapons I really don't want. And I really don't want the teleportation ability because I don't think it's all that good. But yeah, I apologize. I mean, there's going to be people talking in videos and there's not a lot I can do about that. And I might actually move my setup or might look for like an office space somewhere so I can just record like in quiet. Uh, but I'm sure it could be frustrating, but eh, whatever. Um, it's really not that big a deal. All right, so... We are actually, this is actually really terrible. I don't think I'm going to make it very far here. Uh, oh my god. I just need ammo. Ooh, health. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so maybe teleportation was a good thing to get. Alright, now we just got to get, make some room for ourselves. Uh, Alright. And it's good that we're getting bolts. I mean, I, and I don't want to grab a cursed weapon, like, if I can help it. Bounce some of those sh like exploding shells away, hopefully. Because you know the double shotgun isn't bad, but you know since I don't have uh, what's the shotgun fingers, it, it, I mean it would be much more helpful if I had shotgun fingers for sure. I don't. Yeah, I, if I can help it, I'm not going to keep this. 
Eh, slugger. You know what? The thing is, I I'd, I'd probably use the slug. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I know it's cursed, but I'd much rather have the slugger than almost anything else, except except for maybe a Gatling slugger. I really don't want the toxic bow. Well, that went well, and honestly, the teleportation was a big part of that. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. But now we're here. Uh, but this should be easy. I really wish I had scary face though. That is one upgrade. Did they give these things more health? I thought these things only took like one hit. But maybe that's just when you have scary face. I don't know. Oh, sh shit. Maybe they nerfed the bow a little bit. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that much better. It might just be that I'm used to being here with scary face. Oh, that was a good shot. Alright, I really could use some health drops now. You know, this is actually a, a good spot where, uh, or this, uh, this level is uh, a good indicator of how helpful having third leg is. The fact that you can, like, run faster would be really beneficial here because those little spider guys are so fucking quick. And, like, their AI is horrifying. Like, just how they're, they kind of just walk around in, like, a really difficult to predict way. Um, it's a cool enemy. I mean, they're, they're good enemies, though. I, I can't take the... Ooh, super crossbow. I will totally use that. Alright. Sh uh, shotgun fingers. I kind of wish I still had the double shotgun now. Um, I think Bolt Morrow is a better choice, though. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to last here. I always have trouble in this level. Oh! But yeah, Bolt Marrow with... Uh, the super crossbow is good because, you know, the super crossbow shoots multiple bolts, but, oh god, the problem is it uses so much ammo. I totally forgot we took energy mine, too, so that kind of was a wasted upgrade. Actually, no, it's not, because I, I don't think I'm going to use this because it takes up so much ammo that I just don't have. Yeah, I'm going to use this. I mean, it's, oh, fuck. It makes a lot of sense to use it. You know, I should try to conserve ammo. Ah, no. Okay. Why did they give me that? Uh, I should try to conserve ammo uh, by using the, you know, shield ability. Because it's really helpful here uh, with those enemies. Like those guys. But the problem is, it's really easy to mess it up. <laughs> Let's just wait for him to kind of shoot his laser. I really, really like these. You know, honestly, I think this might be my favorite area of the game because these enemies are so interesting in the fact that, like, they don't really... They're not that threatening in a lot of ways, but they can also really, like, screw you over if you're not careful. And, like, they're the type of enemy that, if you're playing as Crystal, they are not threatening at all. Oh, my God. Just, I just need to get... Oh, shit. Just need to get rid of enemies. Just need to clear them out. You know, I need to not be. I need, I need to not worry about ammo because there's a good chance I won't run out. That's the other thing I like about this level too is there's a lot of ammo here. Like a lot of these enemies drop ammo. I should use this. There we go. It's such an easy way to conserve ammo. It's just really easy to forget that you have that option. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I totally don't mind blowing up cars because I'd rather blow up the cars than have the cars blow me up. You know what I'm saying? And I have no desire to go. Uh, down there. Ah, fuck. This actually really sucks. I just need to go in there. Kick ass. Because I don't want to miss out on ammo or experience or health or anything, really. I keep getting shells, but I probably should use more of my shotgun. Ooh, get it. Okay. Oh, wow, an SMG this far in the game. How helpful. I really, really need more energy ammo. Seriously. Oh my god. But yeah, you know, it's just speaking back on, you know, what I was talking about earlier, my personal stuff, it's kind of mind blowing to go from living on your own for two years and then, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go with this because I need that ammo if I have one. Because nothing else is really gonna be that helpful for me. I wish I could just take both of these. Um, but, you know, living on your own for two years is fantastic. Um, but you get lonely and it, it, it can be difficult, especially if you have, like, Oh my god, get out of there. Yeah, that was a... What is that? Oh, that's a new feature. Cool, it shows you how far you got. 
how close you got to nuclear throne. Yeah, that was a mess. I tried to shield and everything just kind of converged and something exploded. That was a good run though for not having played in like a month. Uh, but yeah, you know, living on your own is cool and all, but like it, it can be really tough. Oh, there's a new character too and I still haven't unlocked him. Uh, so let's just do another run. We'll go play as young Venus. So we can get that air horn going. Uh, it, it just it can be difficult and it can be lonely and you know if you have problems like you know if you have like a, you know, no, I don't want to say emotional problems but you know if you have personal stuff going on or you feel kind of sad or especially if you have financial issues living on your own can be horrible um, and you know the next place I live I'm gonna be living with someone because I cannot live by myself again it's too expensive and it gets way too stressful um, and I just need to have that experience of living with someone else it's important it's an important experience. And by living with someone else, I mean, like, you know, someone other than your family. Because the thing about your family is you can get as, you know, they can be as mad at you or you can be as mad at them as you want. I mean, what are, they, what are you going to do? It's family. Um, but, like, it's it's kind of awful because, you know, there's my sister here and then she has two of her friends living with her. And they're super nice and they're great and I really can't complain. It's just the fact that there are so many people here. And, you know, you're going from living alone to living with four, like, women. It's like kind of mind-boggling, but it's been pretty good so far. I really, I really can't complain too much. Um, I guess we'll go with shotgun fingers because everything else kind of sucks. Yeah, so far I'm not too fond of this run. But the first, I mean, honestly, I can't be too disappointed because that first run was pretty good for not having recorded any of these videos in a while. And I think I'll try. If anything, maybe I'll just try to go to the mansion. Um, because the mansion's cool, it's got great music, and because I can get a gold weapon there. But getting a gold weapon as young Venus isn't that useful because he starts with a gold pistol. Which, the gold pistol is really good. It's got a increased rate of fire like crazy. Like, it essentially just shoots when you click. You know what I mean? Like, well, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily go exactly with... Like, it's, you know, it's not as fast as you can click, but it's noticeably faster than the normal pistol. Or revolver. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I, kinda, I guess I'll just keep the hammer, though, until I find something better. Oh, triple machine gun. I should have taken the recycle gland, and I could probably have made that more useful. But, you know, um, it's been it's been good so far to just have other people around. You know, it makes it so you don't worry. You, it helps you stay out of your own head. You know, because that's always my problem, is I, I think way too much, like, about, you know, I'm way too negative of a person to live alone. <laughs> And, you know, I'm sure people are like, well, why don't you just live with your girlfriend? And the problem with that is she's, you know, a full-time student. And, you know, she's like, you know, I went to school for to, for television. You know, I went to art school. Art school's not that big of a deal. Um, it's pretty easy to get through. It's still difficult to, you know, live alone. But, you know, I did the YouTube thing. So I didn't really have to work that much because the YouTube stuff mostly paid the bills. And for that, I appreciate it because you guys helped me with that. You let me live alone and be independent. Which I do honestly appreciate it. I, yeah, I don't really talk about it a lot because it's a weird thing to talk about, but I, I do really appreciate everything you guys have allowed me to do. Um, but the reason you know she can't move out is because she is a full-time student trying to get a psychology degree, and then she wants to go to graduate school. So she really doesn't have the money to move out in the first place, and I can't really support her until I get a quote-unquote real job. Um, but it's, yeah, it's whatever. Um, and, that, you know, and that's the thing. I would have no problem with her moving out um, and not having to pay rent because, you know, in, in a perfect world, that was terrible. In a perfect world, I would be making more than, you know, minimum wage or less than minimum wage. Um, and then, like, the, the other problem is most of my friends, you know, from high school or from college, you know, they all moved elsewhere. Like, a lot of people I went to school with, they moved to Los Angeles because that's what you're supposed to do when you, you know, get into television, which I totally disagree with. Um, but that's fine. That's their choice. And some of them are doing really well for themselves, which is great. Uh, but just most of the people that I know, they either don't want to move out, can't move out, or they live too far away. And I don't want to move to Los Angeles. I really don't want to move anywhere. I like li living in the Midwest, and I love living like you know right near Chicago. Um, but my next apartment will probably be in Chicago. And actually, I do have a friend who does already live in Chicago. Um, that's going to be looking for a roommate, or is looking for a roommate. Um, so that sounds promising. And that's the thing. Like, so if you guys are ever considering moving out, seriously, get a roommate because it is so much cheaper. You know, I was like paying six hundred and twenty-five dollars a month. 
Um, but and that, you know that's just for rent. You know, not including. Uh, I always have a hard time deciding between regenerating health or more health. But I think regenerating health is more useful in the long run. Because the thing is, having more health allows you to take you know four more hits or two more hits in, in reality. Um, but having regenerating health can kind of let you take way more hits than that. You know, I already recovered two HP. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. I already fully recovered. All right, so I'm probably gonna get rid of the revolver in a minute. That was a really good switch to the slugger. I just realized, I'm like, I have the slugger. Why am I using the revolver? But you know, it was better for uh, saving ammo. Pop gun's cool, but I'm not gonna use it. The pop gun, in case you didn't know, it's one of the newer weapons in the game, and it essentially shoots like shotgun shell style, but they're bullets. Um, and it's really cool, it's really useful, but I just don't really wanna use it. Take shotgun fingers, I guess. I mean, we're using a shotgun, so it's it could be useful. But anyway, yeah, I was paying like 615 for rent, but then you know I was paying like, uh, gosh, I was probably paying about $1,200 a month, just you know bills, food, internet, you know all that stuff. Um, and if you live with someone else, rent is usually like for a two-bedroom apartment, rent is only like $900. You know what I mean? Like a one-bedroom is, you know, it's, a, like, any, like, honestly, like, a three-bedroom, like, if you can get three roommates and live in a three-bedroom apartment, it, a three-bedroom apartment is, like, sometimes only a thousand dollars, which is really, really cheap. Um, you know, split between three people, that's, like, nothing. That's, like, you know, three hundred some dollars. So, yeah, I mean, that's my life lesson for the day, is if you want to move out, honestly, try to look for some roommates, because you... A, you'll have, you'll, you know, it's, it's frustrating as other people can be, you know, you'll get that important experience of sharing a space with someone else, you know, it's a, it's a, a lesson in respect sometimes to, like, you know, that's my stuff, that's your stuff, you know, you can use my stuff, obviously, but, you know, it, and it sounds dumb, it's like, well, duh, I learned that when I was in kindergarten, but it, it, it changes when you get older, because that's not something you have to do after a while. But yeah, uh, and it's just cheaper, and it's a lot less stressful. And also, you can live in a much nicer place. Like, one-bedroom apartments or studio apartments are usually pretty terrible, um, compared to, like, a three-bedroom townhouse, you know, with an upstairs and a downstairs and a big kitchen and a dining room. Like, you know, you're not going to get, like, a really great studio apartment. Not oh, I mean, it's possible, but not likely. Uh, I hate all of these upgrades. Hmm... I guess I'll take Impact Wrist. I really don't... I like Impact Wrist, but not for this late in the game. It's just not that helpful. Plus, what it ends up doing is it kills enemies much farther away, so you can't get to their experience. But whatever. Whatever. Whoa. There we go. Um, it does not look like we'll be going... I just don't like going to the second guardian statue because there are so many worse enemies there. Ooh, nice. Um, why couldn't I get this last level? Uh, oh, I'll totally take the heavy crossbow. So the heavy crossbow has a slower rate of fire, but it, it's much more powerful, which is really, really good. Definitely something I want to use. Too bad this isn't 3-1 and I could use a screwdriver to don't... Ah, uh, you bastard. Oh, well. He only summoned one, but now they're probably going to show up here. So let's just try to kill this dude as fast as possible. I mean, we should be able to kill him just by... Oop, damn it. I just can't... Uh, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, well. I couldn't get out of that corner. Well, I'm gonna actually end this episode now then. Uh, I don't, if you guys wanna see more Nuclear Throne, just comment down below and let me know. Um, you know, it's not something I've recorded in a while and a lot of people have been asking like, when are you gonna do more Nuclear Throne? When are you gonna do more? And now that the game has an actual end game, like Nuclear Throne is in the game now, um, it's a little bit easier to do a let's play of it because looping isn't as satisfying as getting to the actual end of the game. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this episode and listening to my ranting. Uh, like I said, comment down below if you do want to see more of this. You know, your comment is the best way for me to know what you guys want. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Repainted Gamer. Be sure to like the video, comment down below, and I'll see y'all next time.